You're listening to On The Road, a podcast powered by Otto Car. About the private, um, getting into the career of private hire, um, driving in itself, how easy did you find it was to get started? When I first heard about Uber, um, I signed up as a passenger, and I got the passenger app like many other people as um, Cabby 007 just explained. And um, I was looking for some additional income to supplement my full-time job. So I took some um, random Uber journeys and was quizzing drivers about their potential earnings and, and just about the job and the um, pitfalls and uh, yeah, just how much money they are gonna earn realistically on a day-to-day -day basis. and. It wasn't very fruitful. Uh, lots of drivers didn't really give me any information. The majority of drivers didn't want to talk to me. And uh, I literally went off the recommendation of one driver who gave me sufficient information. Um, and off the back of that, I started my journey. Um, I saved some money, I took out a loan, and I filled out the TFL application form and uh, started the um, started applying for my license to drive in London as a private hire driver and the rest is um, online. <laughs> <laughs> it's all there to see. It's all there to see. Um, so yeah, it was, it was um, it's a lack of information um, which helped me to kind of start my journey and um, the reason why I'm here and the reason why I'm sharing my story today.